All right, you guys ready? You guys ready to do a Kahoot? Three Kahoots, actually. All right. I will, of course, be playing along, as always, on my phone. All right, the immediate AVN gay. Lovely. Thanks, guys. Every nickname I'm trying is taken. All right, I'm Avian J Official Rhea. <laughs> I tried to type real, but I ran out of characters. Avian J was taken. Avian JJ was taken. Avian J Official was taken. So I had to go with Avian J is Rhea. All right, so this is a quiz about Rainbow Fish, which is a kid's book that uh, you may have read as a kid in elementary school if you lived in the United States. I don't remember anything about it, but it was about a cool rainbow fish. Oh my god, I closed my phone. I'm a dumbass. Okay, well, that's a stupid question. Is this made for kindergartners? Who's the main character in the in the the book Rainbow Fish? Yeah, probably the blue whale. I thought it was about the type of fish. No, you thought wrong. This quiz is going to be much simpler than you probably gave it credit for. This is probably a quiz for first graders. This was your favorite book as a toddler? I don't know if I ever actually read it, but I definitely heard about it. Describe the setting. Where does the story take place? Why would the rainbow fish... <laughs> These are so bad. These are awful questions. Why would the rainbow fish story take place in the jungle? Ah, uh, yeah, even if even if you had chosen blue whale on the first one, the jungle makes no sense. Fish do live in the jungle, to be fair. Yeah, but which one sounds like a kid's book? The deep blue sea or the jungle? This is a test for first graders. Their assignment was to read the chapter in the book. Yeah, probably. And still 16 people got it wrong. I don't understand. Oh, look, it's me, Avian J official Rhea. <laughs> Like the bird. Why did Rainbow Fish look special? <laughs> yep, he just had some stripes. That's what made him special. Very hard question to be fair, sorry. Sorry that I had to start you off with such an impossible quiz. Figured I'd really test your knowledge today, you know? Still 21 people chose stripes. Insane. What did Rainbow Fish do when the other fish asked him to come play with them? He played with them or he glided past them and ignored them. Now this I actually don't, this is the hardest question yet. It would be kind of anticlimactic if he just played with them, right? Yeah, of course he glided past them. He was a dick. He didn't need no other fish. It'd be kind of a dumb book if the first page was like, the fish asked him to play, and then the second page is like, so he did. The end. How did Rainbow Fish react when the little blue fish asked for one of his shiny scales? Well, if I know, if I know the rainbow fish, and you know what, I do know the rainbow fish, I think I know what he said here. Yeah, rainbow fish was a dick, there's no way. Of course, of course he didn't give him the scale. What happened when the little blue fish told his friend what rainbow fish said? Wait, this one's actually difficult. It has three responses, we're getting, wait a minute. This went from a first grader quiz to a second grader quiz. It's getting intense. I don't remember this book being such a drama. I don't remember this book at all. Oh my God, they all ignored him? Wow, I got the wrong answer. Damn, everyone fell off the leaderboard. How did Rainbow Fish feel when the other fish ignored him? Oh, I see. I see where the story's going. I understand the, the lesson now, the moral. Why is the music so intense? Why is there a horn section? What happened to the normal Kahoot music? Is this really in the Kahoot library? A fucking orchestral song? Who did Starfish tell Rainbow Fish to go see about his problem? Of course he went to the killer whale for advice. That makes sense. When did a starfish come into this? I don't know. This story is all over the place. You know, I'm really having trouble following the plot. I'd go see the killer whale. Killer whales are pretty smart. Probably smarter than Octopi. Or octopodes or octopuses. I'll just say everyone so no one can get mad at me because everyone has a different opinion on the plural of octopus. It's definitely not octopusy. What was Wise Octopus's advice to Rainbow Fish? Damn, give a scale to every single fish? He's not gonna have no scales anymore. He's gonna be naked Rainbow Fish. He's not even gonna be Rainbow anymore. <laughs> what is this image? I just looked at this image. Why is there a pink foot and it just says, what? <laughs> He told Rainbow Fish to give a shiny scale to every fish. How did Rainbow Fish feel after giving his scales away? There was no way he felt happy. I'd be pissed. I'd be like, this is what it takes to earn y'all's friendship. I couldn't just verbally apologize. I had to give all my fucking scales away. Fuck you guys. I'd be pissed. A small price to pay for friends. Friends are not worth more than rainbow colored scales. Capitalist grind set. Correct. Damn it. He felt happy. He's a fake ass bitch. Wait, that's it? That was the quiz? All right, who knows the most about Rainbow Fish? Let's go Dan. Let's go Nerd Emoji. 
Texas best state. Pog champ. All right, time for another Kahoot. Let me get the second one pulled up. Ha! Huh, I got AVNJ this time. Fuck you guys. ABNJ real. Good try, man. Good try. Really good try. AVN Baconator? It doesn't even make sense. Nothing about that is Gavian Gay. <laughs> Gavian Gay is, an, is a new level of the AVN Gay meme. All right, you guys ready? World without fish. What would the world be like without fish? Which fish is not one of the most common type of fish we eat? Side vibes. Yeah, this does seem like it would be a bright side video. What would happen if all of the fish in the world disappeared all at once? Probably fucking giant crabs would fly or something stupid like that, according to them. What? What? What the fuck is this? Why? Why? Hello? Sardines are like the most commonly eaten fish, not swordfish. Who eats swordfish? Where? Okay. You guys, anyone who got that right does not deserve it. Dead fish, you are cheating. You were at the top of the last one. I don't believe it. There's no way anyone got that right on purpose. What began in the mid 18th century and continued for the next 120 years? What? What is this? Why is this relevant? <laughs> Why was the first question? Ah, yes, of course. Great. Yeah, the Industrial Revolution. Sure. So we've got the Industrial Revolution and we've got sardines. Who <laughs> wrote on the origin of species? Accidentally clicked Lewis. Yeah, Lewis Pasteur. Maybe best the. Charles Darwin, of course. At least you guys know that. That's good. How many major levels or categories are plants and animals organized into? Does it mean like kingdom, phylum, genera, family? What does this have to do with anything? Why was the first question so related to fish? Who knew that? Is that the, the thing like all kangaroos drink milk, drink chocolate milk or something like that? There's some, like, acronym that reminds you of the kingdom, phylum, whatever. Class, order. What are the two phylum- the book? What book? Is this based on a book? Are we taking a quiz about a book that none of us read? THE book. Darwin's book. This is on the origin of species. What? Okay. Did it say kingdom? That doesn't make any sense. Which organisms do humans have the greatest affection for? Obviously fish. If you're talking about the people in this chat, it's probably fish. I love my little plants. Oh yeah, and then some of you guys, it's plants. But in general, it is mammals. That was the first question that I can say was actually true. What is the process called when a completely different species develops from an adaptation? That's not... Okay. That's not what that is. But okay. This is a bad definition. Yeah, the, the correct word is speciation, not evolution. That is not what evolution is. Kahoot Maker never took an intro to bio class. They clearly read this one book and thought that they knew everything, of course. <laughs> evolution is when Pokemon reach a certain level and change form. That guy knows what he's talking about. In what year will commercial fish be in danger of never recovering if they continue to decline? None of these are true at all. It's way sooner than any of these. It's like 2030. Okay, that makes no sense. <laughs> they just, it's just random years. All right, well, who got that random quiz correctly? Brad Smith. Has to be a made-up name. Whale booty. Blame the bishop. All right. Congratulations. All right, we've got one more quiz. Please be good. Are you saying the last two haven't been good? I think they've been, frankly, wonderful. Dude, someone already stole my name. The first person in stole my name. Just ridiculous, guys. All right, I got AVNJ official. Wait, hey, what is this line? Oh, that's someone's name. I was like, where did this line come from? Someone's name is just an extremely long line. AVN Nebraska? You guys have lost the joke entirely. You're just, you're just putting things that have the same letter in them now. All right, well, let's see how they can perform. How many known species of fish are there? Hey, we've had this in other cahoots and it's been pretty terrible. This one's not, you know, correct, but it's closer, at least. Assuming it's the answer, I think it is. Imagine the question was how many fish are in this image? 1d7, yeah. There are 27 species of fish. You guys didn't know that? Obviously, it's like 33,000, I think, right now. Let's go, easy first place. How fast can tuna swim? I don't know. How fast can tuna swim? Is that tuna in a pool? Look at the bottom down here. Is this tiling? 
This is a pool. This is like a, a public hotel pool that someone must have photoshopped a tuna into. The seafloor does not look like this. Could be a net. Oh, that's true. I guess it could be a net. <laughs> Put the tuna in their pool. The rare pool tuna. Yeah, find your way into your backyard pool. Free the tuna. What animal has fish in its name but is not actually a fish? Wait. There's two of them. Wait, two of these are correct. It better be. It better say both are correct. It better not leave one out. Two answers can be right, but is that going to be the, the case? Usually that's not the case. Oh, okay. Both were correct. We're good. We're good. How many fish are threatened by extinction? What? What is this? What does this mean? What is the definition of threatened by extinction? Does that mean like there's like barely any of them left or does it? I feel like all fish are threatened by extinction. Yeah, 40,000 of the 30,000 of them are threatened. That's how bad pollution's getting. We have more threatened species than we have species. All right, I guess a thousand of them are threatened. Good to know. Don't think that's even remotely true or that the metric that they used makes any sense. Probably at risk of being endangered. Which fish has teeth? I mean, they all have teeth. Wait, does it really mean the fucking beak? That's not teeth. Well, I guess it is technically teeth, but... I assume it's talking about the parrotfish beak, but that does not count. It's a trick question. You think the fact that it's showing a parrotfish on screen is a trick? You think it's not going to be parrotfish? Oh, yeah, fair enough, I guess. True. <laughs> How many volts of electricity can an electric eel give off? I don't know what I don't know anything about volts. I don't know how many volts is seven volts. A lot of volts is 47 volts. A lot of volts is 600 volts. A lot of volts. How many volts is a lot of volts. That's not an electric eel. Oh, yeah, that's just not an electric eel. You're right. Electric eels aren't eels, are they? They're catfish or no, they're gymnotiforms. They're knife fish or whatever they're called. The quizzes are becoming too advanced when it asks you to judge the amount of 110 volts is average for outlets. OK, so it's probably 600 then. Let's go. I'm crushing this quiz. How? What species can age backward? Oh, what the fuck? Why do you put a picture of the correct answer? I clicked something else. I thought it was talking about the thing where there's the immortal jellyfish, but it's not the immortal jellyfish because they're talking about sea, or sea turtles. Sea turtles can go backwards? I immediately thought immortal jellyfish, but there's a picture of a sea turtle right there. Oh, the greatest bait and switch in history. They put a picture of a sea turtle, but the answer was jellyfish. Holy shit. The greatest bait and switch. The sea turtle was a trick. How many taste buds do catfish have? Not something I've ever... information I've ever needed to know. No fucking clue. Yeah, it's definitely not zero. But I don't know what else it could be. I assume they mean there are lots of taste buds on like the... The receptors, the um, barbels, probably none. They'll eat anything. That's a fair point. They will eat anything. 27,000. Dude, I'm crushing this quiz, even though most of the answers make no sense. How long have fish been on Earth? What are we defining as fish? First landslip? Well, you guys should know that it's not 85,000 or 100,000 because all those videos talk about the Megalodon being from a couple million years ago. And then you should know that it's not 37 trillion because the Earth didn't exist 37 trillion years ago. So there should be one clear answer. And yet still, people chose 37 trillion years ago. Imagine having that bad of a concept of time. What kind of fish can live without water? None. Well, I guess for a short period of time. Dude, they're doing the bait and switch again. Look, this is a red-lipped batfish. They're putting the image of the wrong answer to throw you off. Fish were created before Earth. If fish were around like at the very beginning of like Earth, I guarantee there'd be a religion related to it. All right. It is the lungfish. They can live without water for like a year or so if they go into their hibernation, but they can't live without water totally, which is what the question implied. Grayscale, pixel gaming, and of course, that's me, baby. Avian J official 9797. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow.